Well, part two, back on the boat project. Gonna try and see where this uh, massive water intrusion is into the engine here. Oh, oh gosh. Well, this engine definitely looks almost brand new. I was hoping to see like a blowout or something. Those appear to be fine. It doesn't look like any water's got past that. Well, these gaskets look great, but that doesn't. All right, y'all, this thing is bad. This block is complete trash. And I was actually thinking about JB welding it. I'm glad I didn't. Now that I got it out, it's leaking on the outside the other side almost the same way wow winterize your boats people this is <laughs> this is a brand new engine almost that's crazy all right got the engine together for the boat just kidding i couldn't leave an orange engine for this boat there's no way so i got this thing completely washed off uh, degreased painted it gloss black looks more like a marine application now which it is so this is a all aluminum 5.3 lc9 uh, it's got the factory 243 heads uh, has a early ls1 cam they make i don't know about 20 or 30 more horsepower uh than the say a stock five three cam this is a cheap amazon uh dual plane holly street avenger 570 and got my msd box so i've already run it and got good old pressure just on the starter before i put the plugs in it it was showing almost like 45 pounds just on cranking so i'm gonna see if it'll fire up well i know it will So I'm just going to quickly go over what it takes to swap a LS into a boat that say it had a 4.3 or a 5.7 and this should also apply mostly for a 454. You're going to need a manual transmission flywheel. I had this one laying around come from a LS1 car. I believe the truck ones also work. Um, I had a dowel here and here. I just ground that one off because I forgot to knock it out. But the engine coupler fits right on there you're gonna need some just small block to ls engine swap plates and you're gonna need some exhaust manifolds this is what i didn't have these are expensive uh, i think these were about 1200 bucks new um these are pcm manifolds for like a crusader a ski boat i believe and the risers now those uh, PCM risers are three and a half. The Y pipe for the Alpha 4.3, 5.7 is a four inch. So that's not, it's really difficult to get it to line up anyway. So I'm deleting this. So I got a block off plate that goes right here uh, up in the transom area but this will be blocked off and then I'm just going to run through hole exhaust right here on both sides. All right, well, I got this uh, drive flange mounted up and the bolts actually were different threads in here, but I had some laying around, so I got them locked tighted in. All right, this is that exhaust block off plate. I got this off eBay. I think it's like $45 or something like that. It's going to go right here. If this doesn't seal off, you'll sink your boat. So I got the bell housing on and like any other 
small block Chevy to LS swap. Uh, you just leave out this one bolt hole, all the other ones line up. For my dipstick, I just used the truck, a uh, factory dipstick, and I bent it to come out up here. And then I bent the mount to just go right there to the manifold bolt. Pretty sturdy and it's off of everything, so should be pretty good. We've got this dropping super slow. So try and get this lined up. These are the through hole exhaust tips I got. This is what they looked like. Pretty bad, it's just a bare aluminum casting. So I lightly sanded and I've slightly buffed this one. I just kind of want this brushed look so it'll match the uh, stainless trim on the around the windshield and the rest of the boat. Um, alternator I just wired straight in the way that the other alternator was that come on the boat obviously you can see the blue there is oil pressure and brown right there is to the coolant temp sensor i just used an adapter the carb setup you may run fuel injection that's fine but if you're going to run a carb i just used all the factory fuel pump setup and uh fuel feed straight into the tank or supply from the tank then uh still has the electric pump this was a vortex engine in here so it didn't have a mechanical pump so i reused all this had to slightly bend this metal line but then it just clamped right there but that's my throttle bracket um that was really all i had to make was the throttle bracket the other thing i did put these mufflers on just because i knew i was going to run it through hole and I didn't want it like just obnoxiously loud. So these are just a chambered three and a half inch stainless steel muffler. I mean, I run in fresh water anyway, so I'm really not that concerned with a little water sitting in them. I mean, if they last three or four years, then I'll be happy. You've got to have water cooled manifolds. And these are pretty much the cheapest ones you can get. I'll run three and a half inch um high heat couplers 90 there and a 90 there straight out i mean you'll have to do your exhaust however you know to conform to your transom and hole uh but that's what i did i mounted the coals right here so that i could just still run factory wires and keep them out of the way uh the msd box it's got it sit over here i mean you could put your computer you know wherever if you're running fuel injection um everything else is just set up kind of the same the only thing i haven't done yet you can see that wire hanging down there i mounted my shifter linkage right there i've got to go through and fix the uh the neutral to drive and drive to reverse uh cut out it's supposed to like make the engine kind of stumble because this is still an alpha one out drive um i've got to wire that into the coals to kind of kill the engine when I shift so that it'll shift in and out of gear or you can just Google it. There's plenty of people that have done that already. <clears throat> now my water routing, I don't know if you can see, right, that clamp right there, that comes directly out from the alpha, pumps water up. I got a T here, feeds this manifold there feeds that manifold there mm. then the water runs through the manifolds into the risers comes up to this T runs down and feeds the thermostat now as that line fills up there's also a bypass line here that I put in to feed the outlet side of the risers that's the second one the furthest fitting there away from us and then it's teed off and obviously feeds that one too. It's kind of hard to see all this, but but this has a smaller hose inside of it just 
it, those just have to have some water flow before the engine fully warms up because you'll just melt you know your exhaust pipes back there so you need to have some sort of flow that's why i put this uh, bypass in here but running the water through the manifolds first uh keeps the manifolds a little cooler and will heat the water up before it gets to the engine because these are known for running really cool i've run it twice and it seems to do fine um if i do have any trouble with it i will report back i just have my coolant bypass tied in there just like i do on any other ls swap uh, i got an adapter here cut down to one inch then a 90 just run back out back out dumps out the exhaust there back into that t but um replay that a hundred times if you got to because it's kind of confusing and i just have my heater hose just looped there but that's pretty much it this is still running this this boat was a v6 boat and it's still running the i think 1.87 gear ratio it had a 23 pitch prop on it that was all chewed up and stuff uh they didn't do anything it wouldn't even plane the boat out it was well it would but it was horrible anyway i put a 24 pitch prop on it and it seems to do pretty good i'll get some video of the boat running and getting on plane and sound of course it sounds great oh, one more thing i just thought of the power steering this is truck accessories and the power steering lines just were perfect i didn't do anything to them there's still that one the pressure line down there is still run right in the same fittings and then uh, the return come right up here don't have very good light in here to see but buffing this thing out has really looked good especially down here gel coat looks good look like a brand new boat when i'm done all right y'all right, we made it back to the water sorry about my voice uh been yelling at my kid all day just kidding i got sinuses really bad um we are here we're gonna get this ls swap boat in the water and see what it'll do Had some shifter issues got it going now forward reverse um let's see what it does speed is at 3,000 rpm it's just barely just barely running 27 that's not bad let's see what it'll do at 3,500 
Oh, pretty good there. I smell a little heat back here. I'm gonna check it. I hope it's just the paint burning off everything, which it probably is. Make sure water's still flowing out the pipes. Oh yeah. gonna do some more filming but the GoPro battery died so here we are but headed back to the house the boat did great cruise great I think it's gonna be a really great setup uh, I'm gonna get some more film next time we go back out I'll post it up but anyway thanks for watching y'all God bless